Hi guys, hi, welcome to another week with us at Alive. It's Alex here and Erin and we're here just to say hello and to share God's word with you. We're really excited, aren't we Erin? Yeah. Yes, so we're going to sing a song first of all and hopefully you'll know it. It's got a dance, it's called Sleeping Bunnies. Do you know this song? Yeah. Great stuff. If you know it, then er then come and dance with us. Erin's going to show us how to dance to this one and it all starts off with being a <laughs> sleepy bunny. So we're going to sing. Shall we sing together? Yeah. Okay then. So let's all get, lie down in our beds like a sleepy bunny. See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? They're so still. Jump up! Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop. Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop. Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop. Hop hop hop, hop and stop. Now we're all gonna lie down again. See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry cheer? Should we go one more faster? Okay. Everyone lying down. Are you ready to go really fast? See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? They're so still. Shh. Are they ill? Wake up soon. Really fast now. Hop little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop little That was brilliant. Well done, guys. We're going to hear a story now all about when a man named Daniel was in a very difficult situation and God helped him out of it. So Daniel was another prophet of God. He lived in a city called Babylon. Daniel was honest and smart and good and the king of Babylon liked him. But some mean people were jealous of Daniel because the king liked Daniel more than he liked them. They wanted to hurt Daniel. So they tricked the king into making a very silly law. The law said that people could pray only to the king and no one else. If people disobeyed, they would be thrown into a lion's den, a big cave in the ground that had several hungry lions in it. When Daniel learned about the new law, he wasn't afraid. He knew what the right thing was, so he still prayed to God. The mean people saw Daniel praying and told the king right away, O oh, king, your friend Daniel disobeyed the law. He prayed to God, he must die. The king was sad. He didn't want to let the lions eat Daniel, but the king had to follow the law. So Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. The king went home, but he was too worried about Daniel to eat dinner or fall asleep. In the morning, the king ran to the lion's den and yelled, Daniel, are you alive? Did your God save you? Daniel yelled back, I'm fine. God sent an angel to keep the lions from eating me. 
The king was very happy that Daniel was safe and he was so amazed that God had saved Daniel that he made a new law. The king told everyone that they should follow God. Can you imagine just how scary that must have been for Daniel to have big hungry lions standing all around him? Can you imagine what that would be like for you? But now can you imagine if an angel appeared and was protecting you from all those big hungry lions and stopping them from coming near you? Well, that's what it was like for Daniel. Daniel knew that it was much better to do what God wanted him to do and to obey God's commands than it was to do what other people wanted him to do. It was much more important. He knew that God would protect him when he did what God wanted him to do. And God will protect us too, because he loves us and you can trust him. So, shall we pray to God today? Let's pray. Thank you, God, that you are always with us. Help us to do the right thing, even when other people want us to do the wrong thing. Thank you, God, that you will help us with that. Amen. Well, I've had a great time learning all about Daniel and the lions, and I hope you have too. Will you join me again in another two weeks to hear more about some other people from God's big story? I hope you will. I look forward to seeing you. Bye bye.